Hey gang, Scott here. On One has released Photo Raw 2025. The new version is available. In this video, I'm going to run through the, the, the key features, the new things that are in Photo Raw that I want you to be aware of. And I think you're going to find that several of these are, uh, are, are really nice and they're going to improve your editing experience overall with Photo Raw 2025. Real quick, if you're thinking about adding Photo Raw to your toolkit, upgrading to Photo Raw 2025, please use the offer code that is in the show notes. That'll It'll save you 20%. It won't cost you anything extra. It gives me a little support so I can do more videos like this. And speaking of which, when you are looking at Photo Raw, like the first thing about uh, the, the offering, it's just like it was last year, there is Photo Raw 2025, the standalone version. You know, run on your computer, do everything from browse to resize to editing to printing and so forth. And then there's Photo Raw Max. If you are using other photo editing tools that uh, as your central hub like Photoshop or Lightroom, uh, Capture One, and you want to use Photo Raw as a plugin, you need to get the Max version. I did an article on this last year to explain the differences. It's the same setup this year going around. If you use Photo Raw as your asset manager, your like hub for your photography, great. Photo Raw is what you need. If you are using a different photo tool as your hub, like your starting point, take a look at Photo Raw Max so you can use it as a plugin. All right, now let's get into the features. My favorite feature in Photo Raw 2025 is depth masks. Uh, this is a, a new addition to the, the masking panel. I've got a separate video that goes deep, uh, no pun intended, into depth masks to explain you know, how it works, how to work with the tool. But in brief, depth masks give you the capability, and you know, it's AI powered, to treat certain elements that are closer to the camera, you know, foreground elements, differently than background elements and the mask makes it easier to make those types of selections. Uh, I like that I can work visually with it. It's very, very useful, uh, especially as a landscape photographer, but I have some examples in there as well for other genres. Anytime you want to do things where you're treating the background different than the foreground, different than the midground, depth masks give you a new ability on how to make those selections and your camera doesn't need to have like depth awareness. This is not like like a, an, an iPhone portrait mode where there's metadata put into the raw file and then that is what feeds the depth masks. Nope, AI powered. It figures it out for you, and uh, it's it's really really slick. It is it is my favorite feature of 2025 Photo Raw. Next one's generative erase. That's a big improvement to retouching. There's a new generative eraser in the retouch group. AI powered to do distraction removal. You know, you, you can use a paintbrush, you can use generative eraser. You paint over something you want to get rid of, and then the AI goes, thinks about it, and fills in the gaps. And there are a couple of different AI models that you can use with the generative eraser. I have a separate video that goes into all the details. I also have videos on uh, the explanation of the two different AI models that are available and when you might want to use one versus the other, the things to consider about that. So check those videos out. But generative eraser, very cool. It's going to speed up your retouching workflow. Uh, I, I promise you, it's going to speed things up. Uh, you know, uh, edits I would take me uh, you know 30 minutes to do distraction removals in the past. I can do in 30 seconds now with the generative eraser. So very cool addition to Photo Raw 2025. Another improvement in the AI space is generative crop. Now we had canvas extension crop in the previous edition of Photo Raw. Well, that's been improved to tap into the generative AI capabilities. So not only are you extending the canvas and it fills some things in, you're getting better results thanks to generative AI. I'm actually gonna show you that feature here right now. So this photo here, you know, I'm basically done with it. Let me bring up the crop tool and I want to extend the canvas to the right a little bit just to give the right hand edge a little more breathing room. We turn on our canvas extension and you'll notice you have the two different AI models that are uh, available to you. I'll use local gen and then it is just great. I'll take my, my canvas, I'll drag it to the right, eh, something like that and click the checkbox. I'll be told I'm going to create a layer for my uh, my new my new pixels and my new sized canvas. 
the AI goes off, thinks about it, and then we'll fill in the right hand edge in this case of the canvas here. It's just about finished. There it goes. And it did a nice job. You know, it extended out that sky and filled things in. And uh, you know, a little softness here that is typical for, for generative AI. And I might do a little tone down on the coloration there to, to match things. Uh, but that is how the generative crop is working. It's leveraging the generative AI that is elsewhere in Photo Raw, you're going to get better results if you are extending your canvas with the crop. Now, if that wasn't enough AI for you, the Perfect Eraser got some updates in Photo Raw 2025. Uh, two AI powered modes, one to remove dust spots and another to remove power lines. You open the Perfect Eraser, you click one of the other buttons, the AI thinks about things for a minute and removes the dust spot, removes the power lines. I've got a separate video that goes into that feature. Uh, I really like the remove dust spots that's going to speed up workflow. You got you know smudges on your sensor or whatnot. This is going to help you find them and, and just take care of them for you. So the, the remove dust spots and remove power lines features in the perfect eraser, another nice AI add to Photo Raw 2025. The effects module also got some new filters, two that deal with color. The first one, edit color, is a color control supercharged. Uh, it's, it's an impressive filter. It like takes the best of hue, saturation, luminance control from things like the color adjustment tool, as well as color range masking. It kind of bundles it all together in a single place. A nice interface. I like the way that the thing's been laid out. I have a separate video that drills down into all the different controls in this filter. There's a lot packed into this one filter. But if you're looking to do, you know, color adjustment, hue, saturation, luminance at a very precise level, this is the filter you're going to want to get familiar with. And it's new in Photo Raw 2025. The second new filter in the effects area is also color related. It's called match color. And this, it's kind of like color grading on steroids. And it's slick. You, you choose a reference image or one of the built-in styles and the photo is analyzed. The different color tones and palette are all figured out and they're applied to your, your current photo that you're editing. And this is very helpful if you want to just like lift the look from one photo and put it onto another one, or if you're doing compositing where you need to have a better color match between the things that you're compositing, the match color filter is going to help you out. I got a separate video on that that explains that particular filter as well. Go check that one out. Uh, I think you know, you'll, you'll find it's fun. It's a, it's it's a, I like it as a finishing filter for certain looks. And if you're doing compositing, you're definitely going to want to get familiar with match color in Photo Raw 2025. And not to be forgotten, the browse module also got some updates. Uh, there's the ability to set a target album. If you're going around your library and adding things to an album, you can set a target album so you can more quickly add things. There's also a stacking feature. Stacking is a way to help you keep your photos a little more organized. And I want to show you stacking right here. Right? How does stacking work? Stacking takes a set of photos and collapse them into, well, a stack. And I'll use this when I have several either versions of the photo, like I have these different versions of a photo. I can select them all, right click, and from stacks, I can group them into a stack. And now I have three photos that are all just viewed as a single one of the grid. You can expand the stack. You can take ones and make, you know, which, which stack is going to be the top image for your stack. You know, the typical things you can do with stacks. If you've worked with stacks in other software, it works the same way in Photo Raw. You can do this in both your cataloged folders as well as just any folder on your hard drive, which is pretty darn slick. Uh, but this is a great way to keep things collected. You know, this is helpful when you're doing things like HDR and you've got all those brackets that you want to collapse into a stack and then maybe your final image, you grab them all, put them into a stack so that it just keeps everything kind of tidy in your, uh, in your, uh, your library there. Time lapses when you've got you know, photos upon photos upon photos. I don't need to see all of the photos that were in the time lapse. Collapse them down. 
uh, anything you're doing, like I said, versions, compositing, or you just have several photos that are similar and one of them is the best and a few others are similar, collapsing those into a stack, very helpful to keep your library organized, keep you know, your grid view tidy, and uh, it's a nice addition to 2025. So that is the rundown of what's new and exciting in Photo Raw 2025. Uh, do check out the other videos I have linked in the show notes there for more details about several of these features, you know, especially the depth mask feature. Check that one out. Edit color. There's a lot inside that filter, and these other videos will unpack them fully for you. But here I just wanted to give you a taste, a broad overview of what's going on in Photo Raw 2025. Hope you found it useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.